Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today I have a triple John Deere tractor showcase for you guys. Two of them are monsters and then we got the little baby in the middle, little baby. Look at the little baby. <laughs> just a t I'm just a tiny little guy. So we're going to take a look at these three mods. We're going to go over the shop and check out some of the specs and then I'm going to take them out on the field and test them out for you guys. So we're going to come in for a landing here and we're going to start with the baby. Look at the size difference, look at that. Just a tiny little thing. So that's the uh, John Deere 6115. But for the size of it, it packs a punch. This is the John Deere 6115. The file size is 29.75 megabytes. The price in the shop is 110,000 with the daily maintenance fee of 250. The power is 85 kilowatts and 115 horsepower and a max speed of 40 kilometers an hour. Now this comes with two different wheel types, the standard and the wide tire, and the wide, wide tire edition will cost you an extra $1,800. So let's jump on inside and test a few things. First up, the lights, got some nice lights, we got some nice overheads, very nice. Okay, signal lights seem to work just fine, as well as the hazards. How's the horn? Horn works just great, and the beacons are a go. Okay, let's jump on inside and take a look. Very nice looking interior. The uh, speedometer seems to work, all the gauges and stuff. Not bad. We don't have any IC controls, it looks like, up in the uh, top left hand corner. Though I'm looking at the toolbox there, I don't see any extra things, but very nice looking. Oh, I like that on the back of the C2, John Deere. Looks like it was stitched right in there. Very nice. Nice tight looking tractor, man. Just compact. I like that. So, that was the John Deere 6115. So, next up on the list, we got this monster of a mod. This is the John Deere 8530. This comes with five different, your choice of five different engine sizes as well as uh, the, the speed will change along with that obviously the only things that are all the same for all of them are they're all 50 kilometers an hour actually I shouldn't say that because the max speed of the last one is 70 but I'm pretty sure the rest of them are 50 and they're all $120 a day maintenance fee now the, the prices vary obviously but I think we'll go over the shop and take a look at that right now and we'll kind of run through that together because there's a few different things with this mod. Here it is there. So, like I said, there's the 8130, 8230, 8330, and it jumps up 15,000 each time, and the horsepower goes up too. So you can see, like, let's start again from the lowest one. 8130, we got 240 horsepower, 270 horsepower, 300 horsepower, 330 horsepower and the biggest one has look at this boom 760 horsepower 559 kilowatts that'll run you 126,000 it'll cost 13,860 to rent it for uh, an hour <laughs> that's pretty steep and uh, yes there's a couple of different wheel types too standard wheel weights twin wheels and back to standard 50 kilometers like I said Oh, actually, I think they made a mistake, because I think, look, that says 50 kilometers an hour. I think it actually goes faster than that. Pretty sure. Let me see if I'm right. Yeah, look at the max speed down in the bottom left-hand corner. Bottom right-hand corner, 70. This thing goes 70 kilometers. But anyway, I got the biggest one here, the 8530. Now, I noticed on some of the comments where I downloaded this, people weren't fond of the lighting system here because of the fog but I think it looks kind of neat myself love the chains hanging off it. it just makes it look so beefy and mean love it love it yeah that looks awesome so let's try our beacons oh, wrong button here we go let's try those lights again I want to see if those overheads come on yes they do and our signal lights there we go and listen to the mean old horn on this that's cool. Really, really like this mod. 
So, let's jump on inside. <laughs> that's funny. Nice looking interior. Not bad at all. John Deere woven into the seat there. This does have some IC controls, guys. So I'll have to use my keyboard because I'm not used to... Uh, it's different with this one. IC, you got to use right shift. I'm used to uh, spacebar with 2015. Okay, let's press that and check out what we got. I do believe that just tilts the steering, yes. This guy's a heavy smoker. I see cigarettes everywhere. Okay, look, there's a pack on the floor. There's a pack in the back. That opens the bonnet. Cool. That opens and closes that door. That lowers the arm in the front so you can uh, hook, attach a weight. That's for your warning signs. There is for your back window. We'll leave our warning signs out. Oh, another pack of cigarettes there. Yeah, this guy likes his cigarettes. Open that up. So yeah, we got a few different things to mess around with there. Oh yes, we got the seat that flips down. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, let's jump on out. Now I want to show you a different variation of that. This is the smallest one. That's the uh, smallest engine type with just the regular tires on it. So even that looks like a beast. It's pretty cool. Okay. So last but not least, we got this huge mega tractor here. This is the John Deere 9630 version 1.0. There's four different wheel types with this, which we'll go over shortly. The file size is 14.37 megabytes. Price in the shop is 218500 the maintenance is $450 a day. The power is 390 kilowatts and 530 horsepower with a max speed of 43 kilometers an hour. Just got kind of sidetracked because I wanted to make sure I mentioned everything about the uh, the other one there. So the prices in between like these are 15,000. Every time you go up an extra engine size, you got to pay an extra 15 grand. So just keep that in mind for that one. So we go back to this one. Yeah, this one pivots in the middle. Got that joint in the middle. This is the triples. It also comes in regular tires and I think just single tires. And I'll show you the other version of that. Here's just the regular tires. Look how funny looking it looks. Looks like it's been crushed. And it's really, really skinny. But it's a it's a beast that uh what did I say it was? Over five hundred horsepower. I got things written on both sides of the sheet here, guys, so I'm getting kind of mixed up. 530 horsepower, that's right. Okay, let's jump back in here and we'll test out a few things before we get them out on the field. Okay, lights work good. The overheads. Let's try outer signal lights. Hazards are good. Horn works. Okay. And uh, yes, they work just fine. Okay. Let's jump on inside. So yeah, the interior of this one is uh, not that great actually. It looks good on the seat there, and it looks great on the outside, but no. Nah, this fails the uh, interior test. But it's not bad. I hate to put them down because it could be the guy's first time making a mod. I don't know. Is that a fan move? No. But the mirrors work on the sides there, so that's cool. And it just looks like a beast. So let's go test these out, guys. So we'll start with the small one first. I do believe this is it. Yeah. So this is 115 horsepower. I do have a cultivator set up over here. This needs 120 horsepower to pull this small one. So we're five horsepower under. So it shouldn't be a problem still. This drives really smooth, by the way. Let's lower that down. We'll try a little bit ourselves. And then we'll try to hire a worker and see what happens. Okay, he's pulling that without any problems, even being under. So, not bad at all. Let's hire a worker. Look at dude. So, yeah, that works great. You can hire a worker. It works just fine. Okay. On to the other one. There we go. This is my favorite. Look at this thing. It just looks so cool looking, man. Not a fan of the flags, but everything else, it looks awesome. 
So like I said, this is the biggest one. So this is over 700 horsepower. So it's going to be uh, pretty easy to test this guy with pretty much anything. This is the biggest thing you can get in the game that requires the most horsepower to pull. Is this cultivator, which is requires 400 horsepower. And we're almost double that, so... <coughs> Excuse me, there shouldn't be a problem at all. Look at the size of this thing. We got the uh, dual wheels, but they're like the fat ones. And another thing I like about this, you can see the tires have a little sag in the bottom. Like the the tire pressures is uh, a little less. I like that. It looks like it has a little bounce to it. So let's put that down and try it out. I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, like the tires aren't super tight. They have a little sag on them in the bottom there. It just makes it look better. And we'll try to hire a worker. No problem at all. So really, really cool looking tractor, man. I like that. Okay, so our last but not least is our 9630. The big boy. So I have this cultivator set up. This requires 350 horsepower to pull. And I'm over 500, so this will not be a problem. But I didn't want to do the same cultivator twice, so... Plus, this is a really nice cultivator. I love the double fold. I like that they added this. It just looks really cool. Alright, so let's put our triples to the test. Our 9630 here. We can get by these dudes. I'll try a little bit myself first. Oh, I like the double st stack on it. It just looks so heavy duty. And that's working just fine. I'm going to try to hire a worker. And there she goes. No problem. Hauling that with ease. So, guys, there you have it. That was my Triple John Deere review. Additional information will be down below as well as the links. If you guys like the review, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I do new my reviews every second day. And I do Let's Plays every other day. So guys, until next time, take care and I'll see you in the next one.